packing the essentials only. <laughs> this is what I got. Yes, this is from the Scooby Doo movie. Coffee has been acquired. This is the current packing overview. Oh, looks slightly phallic, doesn't it? Hey Siri, play my Sunday morning playlist on Spotify. Oh my god, I actually can't get over how insane this smells. Like, I'm genuinely obsessed. I saw Molly May raving about this um, cleansing balm the other day. I've seen so many people rave about it, and I'm like, yeah, okay, like, I'm sure it's good, but like, it's expensive, you know? Oh my god, the smell of it alone makes it so worthwhile. It honestly smells like a spa. Putting this on with um, a white dressing gown on honestly makes me feel like I'm about to be at like a spa trip or something. If only we still had water in our hot tub, I could go in there and then I'd really be living out my spa at home dreams. Love, love delays, Saturday night. I this is more than love at first. Hi everyone! Happy Sunday and welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's a little bit weird starting the weekly vlog on a Sunday because it's not the start of the week, but I'll explain that a little bit more in a minute. But I've had a very lovely start to my Sunday. I got up this morning, woke up to blue skies and sunshine, went for a little run, which was really, really lovely. Like, I've got a lot to do today, but at the same time, when it's a blue sky sunny morning, I just feel like it's such a wasted opportunity to not go for a run. And I'm really trying to get back into my running um, since the marathon and everything. So I went for a run this morning, which was lovely. Came home, did my skincare. I used um, the new Elemis stuff that I got gifted last week. So it was gifted, but this is not an ad or anything. But I am loving these at the moment. These are the three things that they sent me, and I am obsessed with them. I've been using the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Oh my god, smells like a spa. I think I've said that about 12 times. It's so like, so luxurious. And I've used so many different cleansing butters and now I can see why there's so much hype about this. And then I've used the Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads and then also this Elemis Superfood Facial Oil, which is something that I would never really pay much attention to if I was in a shop or something. But oh my god, this is like the secret to glass skin. I put some on this morning before my run and it was literally so glowy. And then I've really um, applied and everything since I got back from my run. Because I've had a shower, redone my skincare, chucked a little bit of makeup on. I just chucked on, um, of course, my peaches and cream sun tint and then also some Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And now, before we do anything else, I need my morning coffee. I'm having a very lovely, wholesome Sunday morning, which I'm very much enjoying. So yes, I'm gonna go and make a coffee, have some breakfast, and then we will properly get on with the day. This morning's breakfast is gonna consist of the remnants of my Starbucks Tea Go bag that I got last week. I've actually eaten everything um, other than this. This is all just rubbish that I need to put recycling, which I just haven't got around to doing yet. Um, but I've got the um, fruit toaster, because I thought I'd leave this till last, because although it was in the Too Good To Go bag, um, it's still got a massive date on it. The 6th of the 8th, 25. That's next year. That's bizarre. Anyway, don't know why this is in my too good to go bag, but because it was individually packaged, I thought it'd last longer. So I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna make my usual coffee, but I'm gonna film me making my coffee for a TikTok. So you won't see that, but I feel like you've seen me make my coffee so many times. And if you haven't, it's in last week's weekly vlog. <laughs> so you can go and watch that. So I'm gonna make that now, have that for my breakfast. Um, film this quick little TikTok, then we shall go from there. has been made it is half 10 i don't know how it's got to that point in the day already i feel like the morning is really um getting away from me but before i get dressed before i get on with the day i have two very exciting pr parcels that i thought we could open first up this one is from neon which i was talking to you in last week the week before last week vlog, i think so i'm now a neon ambassador which is so exciting and they gave me a gift card and i could pick um, something off the website so this is what I went with and I'm so excited about this like I'm so excited to try this this looks so nice this is what I got so I got the um neon well-being pod mini I got it in black they did it in black and in like a baby pink and the baby pink was so cute but I decided to get the black because basically I thought this would work really well with my car because this is like a little oh my gosh it comes with a tiny little book what's this for oh it's like instructions it's like one of those flick books you used to get when you were younger. It's actually really thick. Um, and I don't know what this is. 
just says neon on it um but this is basically a neon diffuser because i have wanted one of the neon well-being pods for ages but they're really expensive and i also like i already have diffusers and i don't really use them but this one is portable so you can put it in your car you can basically put it wherever you want like if you've got like a little office or you've got somewhere where you want a diffuser where you don't have like a plug socket near this is like rechargeable oh my gosh this is gonna be so satisfying because it's got one of the peely things oh actually it's not peely so i got a black one to go in my car and it just sits in your cup holder and then um i think you just pop turned it on oh it's like a touch screen why is it not turning off hello um oh oh my god this is clever so you press a little button on the bottom which then pops this thing up and then you just put so basically you then get like a neon diffuser oil and then you put it in here and then that pops in there and then it comes out so then your car can be smelling really nice and i'm kind of hoping as well i've got some white company diffusers i've got about six like different um white company oils so i'm hoping i'll be able to pop these in here as well i'm hoping i can't just use neon ones um so then i can like switch and then this is going to go in my car so that is what i got from neon which i'm so excited about and then this other parcel is from estrid but i don't know what's in this they basically just sent me i mean i'm obviously guessing it's a razor but they just sent me a message on instagram the other day asking if they could send me something so i was like yeah of course so i gave them my address and then that's that basically so oh this is the ultimate shave gel i didn't realize they did this i knew they did razors because obviously you see everyone and their mum talking about them i mean i get to try them so i'm excited but this is the ultimate shave gel which i didn't realize they did and then there's a cute little pink envelope in here we have another little envelope this is so cute oh my gosh this color okay then we have one of the estrid razors so i've got this gorgeous pink color which matches everything perfectly um and then two little refillable not refillable but like little um razor head things and then in here it says is a little wall holder oh my gosh this is so cute so you can then suction this to the shower i'm so late to the party with all this extra stuff but i'm so excited to try it so yeah i'll let you know how i got on because i've heard a lot of good things about these razors and i like i said i didn't even know this existed so i'll give this a try um and then let you know what i think so that was a very fun um pr unboxing i'm now going to get myself dressed um so yeah <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do I'm dressed and now for the biggest task of today to pack for Cornwall because I'm going to go to Cornwall tomorrow it's bank holiday Monday is that a good idea I don't know but I am going to be leaving at half past three in the morning don't really want to talk about it I was going to go on Tuesday but then um, my plans for today didn't end up happening so I thought let's do the stuff that I plan to do tomorrow today and then I can go down to Cornwall a day sooner which is why I thought I'd start the new weekly vlog um today because I was going to do this stuff on Monday anyway and also when I go to Cornwall I find I don't vlog as much I just different house different lighting i don't have like my pr passes and stuff sent down there for example and just like different things like that so i just don't tend to vlog as much there because i prefer filming in this house i don't really know what it is so i'm going to carry on filming in cornwall and i'm going to try and vlog as much as possible but i thought if we start the weekly vlog off today at home i can start off how i usually do and then that might help the vlog kind of carry on if that makes sense so that was my thought process which is why we're starting the weekly vlog on a sunday but anyway i now need to pack i'm gonna be down in cornwall for not too sure yet i'm just gonna kind of wait and see and play it by ear because i don't really have to decide but i think maybe like three weeks so i need to pack basically a lot of stuff for those three weeks because i'm hoping we'll have a bit more summer whilst i'm down there but also autumn could arrive whilst i'm down there so i need summer clothes and autumn clothes i want clothes for instagram content because i'm still going to be working when i'm down there um yeah we have a lot of stuff to pack it's not all going to be going in this suitcase but this is where we're going to start so um let's start with of course my little boohoo white boxer style shorts and also my adenola ones as well because i literally live in these every single season denim shorts from zara my beloved mns striped um linen trousers i'm also going to pack this that i'm wearing now which is just some um white linen trousers and boohoo and then this top i got from primark the other day and i love it it was only five pound they did it in a black as well and it's so comfortable and so nice and i'm just trying to like ruch it and up a bit but yeah five pound for this i thought was so good and i'm actually tough with it it's so soft and i feel like it looks quite expensive you know like it doesn't look like i only paid five pound for it my zara wool knit vest because this is quite good for like transitioning from summer to autumn the classic zara vest tops that everyone owns and loves i've got these in so many colors and i will be packing every single color with me i literally bring me 
these back and forth to Cornwall every single time because they're such a staple in my wardrobe. I might also bring my little puffball dress. I'm hoping I might be able to get a little bit more wear out of that this summer. Next drawer. This is that Primark vest top in another colour. My new favourite jumper that I'm so excited to wear. This Zara Home little cashmere crop jumper and also the new viral Primark jumper. Because I literally live in these all autumn and these work really well with shorts as well. Again with the transitional period. Another little Primark jumper. This cute little comfy two-piece from Billy J Boutique. Just to kind of lounge around the house in with little matching shorts. Got a new bikini which I'm hoping I might be able to get a little bit of wear out of. It's beige with these cute little um, shell details on. I literally love it. So I'm going to chuck that in. I always like to bring a few Sisters and Seekers t-shirts with me. Because they're just so easy to chuck on and wear. So I'm going to bring this one which says Mum's Favourite. And I think I've already got a couple down there as well. And now let's actually try and fit some of this stuff in this suitcase first before I actually get any more stuff out. I'm also just going to get out another bag. This is one of my favourites for packing because it literally fits so much in it. It says everything and it fits pretty much everything in it. Um, it's perfect as well for like autumn for like big bulky jumpers because it goes massive. So I'm also going to um, pack some bits in here. Then we have my Adenola jumpsuit that I literally love. You've probably seen me wear this if you've watched my other videos, so we don't need to go into that. I've also got a white fox little top. These are my favourite white fox tops. I say this in probably every single weekly vlog because they are honestly the best gym tops ever. So I've got that in a chocolate brown um, with little matching cycling shorts because for like running, for athleisure outfits, also for yoga on the beach, that kind of thing. And then I've also got same shorts in like this beigey colour and then a little white score and the top actually I need to remember to pack the top for this because I washed it yesterday so it's hanging out to dry but I've got the little matching top to go with those shorts and this little white score and then my little Billy J Boutique set which I'm obsessed with at the moment it's like a little denim um, shorts with a little matching shirt which again I absolutely love and then for all my little random bits and bobs I like to pack them in here I kind of have a little routine like I know what works I like to do clothes and like my Dyson air up in the suitcase this is all clothes and then this is like the random little bits and bobs that I just put in this like hold all thing and normally I can kind of put everything in these three and it works quite well for like unpacking I know what's where so in here I'm gonna pop in I'm just seeing what I've got I've got my beloved normal sunglasses. They're actually maybe will go in my handbag because I might want them for driving. I've also got these sunglasses which are from the fence or like DH gate, whatever you want to call it. These came in such a nice little box and then they also came with a really lovely sunglasses case. And then these are the actual sunglasses themselves. I really love these. They're super popular at the moment. <laughs> I look silly with having um, glasses on my head already but I really like the fact they're silver because I'm a silver jewellery girly and although there's a lot of dupes of these out and about at different shops at the moment don't really feel like there's any silver ones this is the inside of the case as well but yeah I don't really feel like there's any silver ones um, so I was really happy when I found them so I'm gonna oh that was loud I'm gonna bring them with me I've also got this book that I bought from Home Sense that I'm gonna put in my room in Cornwall it just says um, Home by the Sea so I might might actually put that in that one because I feel like that works better um, shape-wise. And then I've got these treats that I bought for the dogs because I miss them. I've not seen my babies in like three weeks. And I saw these in B&M. They were only a pound and I thought they were really fitting for being in Cornwall. Fish fingers and chips. So these will be going in. I'm going to bring my, um, very random, my limp pistachios with me because I don't want to leave them here. I don't want to be without these in my life for like three weeks. So these will be coming with me. Packing the essentials only apparently. My other camera, also you. Um, but you might have to go in some sort of case so that needs to be packed and you need your battery changing my apple watch and then i'm gonna do a little like handbag bag just to have i don't know why i'm putting it on my shoulder there you go that's what it looks like um i'm gonna have this on like my driver's not on my driver's seat that would be dangerous on my passenger seat um with things to grab so i'm gonna put my sunglasses in here i'm also gonna put in my um milk chocolate covered pistachios I feel like that's a good car snack I have my car keys but obviously they'll be in the car and then makeup bag wise i've already got a couple of bits in here i've got my nars foundation rare beauty blush my bite agave lip mask my charlotte tilbury contour wand my eyebrow stuff my mascara my lash glue nars lip gloss because i don't really wear this this is in the shade turkish delight but i want to try and wear it so i'm going to bring it with me same with the morphe backseat love lip liner also going to chuck in my charlotte tilbury flawless filter and i also got sent this ages ago from space nk and i haven't got around to using it it's the vive skin nova instant radiance primer so i think i want to bring that with me to try and encourage me to use that and then talking of space nk for my beauty stuff um like toiletries i'm going to use my new space nk makeup bag this is the first time i'm using it 
and I'm so excited because so many people, I posted about this PR parcel that I got with this in it and so many people replied to it like, oh my God, those makeup bags are amazing. So I'm really excited to try it. I feel like it's the perfect size and I was going to put my makeup in it, but I think I might be better doing um, other beauty bits. So I'm going to pack my Way St. Bart's um, hair and body mist, which this literally stinks of because it leaked in here, but I'm not complaining because it's an absolutely delicious scent. So making sure the lid is screwed on properly this time, that's going in there. I'm also going to pack my Joan Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey perfume because it's quite summery. So I want to like try and wear that a bit more. Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing balm the way matte pomade for my hair and also the living proof dry shampoo so that's that i also will be packing my dyson air app but i need to blow dry my hair later so for now we've got this little attachment and my comb but i will also pack my air app my adidas spezials and my uggs because it is finally ugg season i feel like it's not fully but whilst i'm down there it will become ugg season so i definitely want to pack these my other camera lens my favorite boohoo like low-waisted um, wide leg white trousers and also my Sundarbe white wide leg trousers. My jelly cat coffee cup and my jelly cat croissant bag because although I'm 23 years old, I bloody love these two. This is the current packing overview. So we're getting there. We've still got loads of room. Like this bag has got so much room. This one's also still got quite a bit of room for like some more folded up clothes. And I feel like that book works good in there. This is all like homes in Byron Bay. Oh, such a dream. I can't wait to go to America one day, but not America, Australia. But for now, we'll just live vicariously through that book. So I'm just going to carry on. Oh, and also, I've also got um, my Space NK bag. There's still a bit of room in here. Um, that can go flat, to be fair. There's like a little bit of room like here. So I'm also going to finish up packing that up. But this is what it's looking like so far. I just thought I'd give you a little overview. My Kindle, the book I'm reading on here at the moment is, I've read a few books recently. I've read like 30% of like three different books and I've not been loving them. I'm trying out Women's Beach Club at the moment because I thought this would be perfect to read um, seeing as I'm going to Cornwall because it's about like a woman who's a yoga instructor. She does yoga on the beach and she meets a man who's got um, golden retrievers. Yeah, she loves beach yoga, women's beach club, fruity drinks and dogs. And there's a golden retriever in it. Does that get more me? No, I don't think so. So that is the book I'm reading at the moment. My little UGG X Tell Far Bag Dupe because that is like my favourite bag. Do I want to put that in here or here? Maybe we could squish that in there. It's my favourite bag for autumn. Of course, I'm going to pack all my Colorwell dupes because I literally love these so much. I've also got this um, little camera SD card adapter, which I think I might pop in here. I feel like I should use this for something. This cute little like um, bag thing. So I might put my little like SD cards, camera batteries, camera battery chargers, um, SD card laptop thing in there and also a water bottle which can go in there. Another cleanser, some tanning drops and of course my sun tint because I literally cannot go anywhere without this. And then for shoes, I'm just going to chuck them in this Nespresso tote bag because my running trainers are absolutely filthy. I probably should try and bang the dirt off them before I put them in here, but I really can't be bothered. So they can just go in the bottom and then I can just chuck this bag um, in the wash when I get there. So they can go in. My Birkenstock Boston clogs, I've already got a pair of these done in Cornwall already because I love them that much. I've got one pair here and one pair there, but these are a new pair that are a slightly different colour. So I'm going to bring them because I can literally, it doesn't really matter how much I bring because... I'm going to be putting it all in the car and it's literally just me and my Audi A1. So everything will fit in. So I don't have to pack light, which is good because I don't pack light well. In fact, I just don't pack light at all. I think I might also bring these Birkenstocks and these grey New Balance. And then I also kind of want to bring my... Oh, I have a lot of nice shoes in here. I think I might also bring these New Balance. These are the 530... Um, ones because I've got a top and some shorts. I want to go with them. I don't really need to bring any other shoes, do I? Okay, we definitely do not need any more shoes. She is jam-packed with, um, she looks like she's jam-packed with New Balance, but she's basically a collection of New Balance and Birkenstocks. Okay, I'm gonna chuck some YouTube videos on to watch in the background. I'm gonna watch some other people's weekly vlogs to see what they're doing, and I'm gonna get this all packed up. I have ended up packing so much more than I thought. Like, I have a surplus amount of bags right now. I don't even wanna count them. And now I need to go and try and fit this in the car. I'm gonna try and come back to grab you. This is not a good idea. Why am I trying to do artsy shots when I'm also carrying 300 kilograms worth of bag? 
If you don't wear Crocs as you're like chucking things in the car, running errands around your house, kind of outside your house area, then what are you doing? I thought we could set this up um, ready for my drive tomorrow, but I've had to have the passenger side door open because it is absolutely boiling this car and I'm already starting to sweat. But I'm gonna, I don't actually have any neon oils yet. I do need to buy them, but I'm hoping I might be able to use the white company ones I've already got. So I've got sea salt. Um, these are just a few of them, but these are the ones I'm trying to decide between Seychelles and Spa Escape, and I don't know which one to go for. I think I'm going to go with Seychelles just because it's, I mean, sea salt is quite sea, obviously, but Seychelles is nice and summery, so I'm thinking for going to the beach. Do you know what? I don't know if this is going to fit. I feel like they've made the neon ones slightly smaller, so this is going to be slightly too big to fit in. I know. Oh no. Maybe. I definitely should have read the instructions so I know what I'm doing, but... Hmm, Okay. Maybe this isn't gonna work. Let's read through my little book and see what I'm meant to do. It says, whilst using your pod in the car, we do not recommend using any of our sleep range essential oil blends, which are designed to help with rest and relaxation. Please concentrate fully whilst driving. I like that little dish. And that's rule number three. So they've actually put that quite high up on the list of things when there's 17 notes to make. Remove the dropper insert. Oh, that's what that weird thing was, that random thing. Um, that it had like a black thing that said Neomon and you use that to take the stopper out to be able to apply it, like to be able to put it in. So you basically use this little black thing to like get the stopper out like that and I've just spilled oil everywhere, which wasn't what I wanted to do. Probably shouldn't be doing this in the car actually. I've just realized that's probably not my best idea. And then you just put this on. Okay, that fits, perfect. So that's my little scent attached and then you just pop it in here like so. Oh. Okay, it doesn't work. The white company ones are too tall. They're like longer than the neon ones must be because it doesn't go all the way down. So I'm going to have to buy some neon oils to be able to use this, which is fair enough. Like it is a neon pod after all. So I'm going to have to buy them. So I can't set that up now, but I have got my, um, I've got my little white company car diffuser. So I will top this up with Seychelles instead. So at least I'll have my car smelling nice in my car journey. But once I've got it to work, I can then just pop it in here and then you can um, turn it on and change the intensity settings and then my car's gonna smell delicious and it also works perfectly I'm glad I got the black one because the black and silver literally just works perfectly with my car. Hello, okay, it is now is the time 3.56. It's almost four o'clock. I have literally been packing since I last saw you. I've been packing, tidying up the house, making sure it's nice and clean and everything for me to leave it So I've been doing that. I've also obviously wash my hair um and i thought i could dry my hair with you because i've got um a new little dyson attachment to try which i'm quite excited about i mean it's pretty bog standard it's nothing fancy i definitely should have got some scissors to open this with let me use a hair clip it's nothing exciting it's basically just um the same attachment as what i've already got but a longer version because i've got fairly long hair it does need to be cut so it's a bit shorter but that's gonna have to wait till i'm next back home um but yeah i've got fairly long hair so i'm better off having a longer attachment obviously for the amount of hair i've got so i think this is yeah this is 40 millimeters and the one i already had was 30 so i thought we could try this out and see what it's like this tiny piece of plastic cost me 30 pound don't really want to talk about it i mean the dyson air app is expensive on its own and then to have to buy an attachment to suit my long hair is kind of annoying but oh well so this is it. I mean, I've already packed my other one, but this doesn't actually look any longer than the one I've already got. Have I just bought, I thought I had the 30 millimeter one, but maybe I got the Dyson Air app for long hair. So I already had this attachment come with it. Let me just have a look at that, bear with. This is the new one. And this is the one that I already had. They are the exact same. Um, I've just realized if you read the bottom, there's like a code. So if anybody isn't sure which one you've got, have a look at the bottom of your thing before you buy them. I didn't realize I had the long hair Dyson Air app. I just thought I had the bog standard Dyson Air app and I needed to buy the long hair attachment, but apparently I've already got it. So that's kind of a win because now I don't have to spend 30 pound on this piece of plastic. I just need to see if I can return it, which hopefully I will be able to do. So we won't be trying that out because that's just the um, thing I've already got. We can try this out though. I've got one of these pup pip things that I got with my Ocado order the other day. It's um, basically a banana dipped in white chocolate on a stick. So kind of like true fruit vibes, um, but slightly different. So I thought we could try this out. Um, ooh, looks slightly phallic, doesn't it? That's what this looks like. It's very hard. I definitely shouldn't be saying that. This is really, maybe I shouldn't be putting this on the internet. Oh, cold. 
this is what it looks like it's very cold but it's also very nice i definitely can make this myself last night actually i had a giant bowl of melted white chocolate no i didn't that's a lie i had a giant bowl of melted milk chocolate and then i had these strawberries that are all really really tiny so i just cut the tops off and left the strawberries whole because they're like tiny little bite-sized nuggets and then i just put like probably like 20 strawberries in this bowl of melted milk chocolate and i just ate that with a spoon and it was delicious and i will probably do the same tonight um last night i started watching or actually yesterday afternoon i started watching the dallas cowboys cheerleaders program which i'm very late to the party of and if you haven't seen it yet you should watch it and you should also skip this part because i'm about to say a slight spoiler but i think i watched like four episodes of that yesterday and i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna watch that this evening with the um milk chocolate thing but yeah i'm loving i loved cheer when that um series came out i literally loved that and then this dallas cowboy one i'm also loving i didn't know anything about them before i watched this but apparently they're really famous in america and in another life i would be an american cheerleader like do you ever think like obviously there's not enough time in your one life to do all the things but like sometimes i'm like oh i wish i'd gone to uni and lived that lifestyle i mean i did try that didn't like it so i feel like at least i've ticked that off but like do you ever think like oh like in one life i'd love to be a young mum but then in another life i'd love to like go traveling for ages and like when i'm young um and then in another life i'd like to be live like born in australia does anybody else think that there's a book that i read about that actually can't remember what it's called but i'll put it on the screen here it's actually a really good book where this person had like died i think and then they went back and saw like different versions of their life and realized actually they thought they would have loved that life but actually it wouldn't work for them for this reason it's actually quite a good book because i often think that like in another life i'd love to have been an american cheerleader and like grown up in america in another life i would have loved to do this but there's just you physically can't do it all in one life you know like you can try and cram as much into your life as you want but you genuinely cannot do everything you know you can't be born in australia and raised up there and also raised in england it just doesn't physically work which is a bit of a shame but i did actually see another quote actually i'm gonna dry my hair in a second and i've got one minute on my sd card so i need to change it but i saw this quote on tiktok where it was like um don't forget to make a life whilst making a living or something like that or don't spend all your life making a living and not make a life something along those lines lovely quote just thought that made sense of what i was saying right i'm gonna quickly change my sd card um and then we can dry my hair oh i was also gonna talk more about cheerleaders bear with so as i was saying the cheerleader thing um one of the girls this is a bit of a spoiler so just skip this if you haven't seen it and you're gonna watch it but i hadn't heard about the dallas cowboy cheerleaders before this series came out and then everyone was talking about it on netflix um but apparently in america it's a really big thing to the point i couldn't actually believe this and this is a spoiler so skip this if you're gonna watch it i couldn't believe that they actually changed their appearances i thought that was so bad and i kind of get it in a way because it's like it's obviously like a historical thing they're gorgeous glamorous girls and like they want to stick to that but in this day and age i was really surprised watching it i was like oh my god like one of the girls literally went from blonde hair to brunette they dyed her hair for her to be on this team and then she didn't make the cut they got rid of her she thought she was in the team there's like 43 of them and they had to whittle it down to 36 in that time of whittling down they did a big makeover of all these girls loads of them had their hair dyed they had their hair cut and she dyed her hair brown and then got kicked off the team that was brutal that was honestly brutal and then also um so i watched a few episodes of that last night and then i also started watching this new zac efron movie on netflix it was like a classic cringy cheesy netflix film but like an easy feel good one it had zac efron nicole kidman liza koshi i think her name is from like youtube never watched her but i recognized her from that there's another person in it the um, one of the main characters i can't think of her name but like the cast in it was incredible um but it was very weird like zac efron and nicole kidman were like kissing a lot it was very weird i've only watched half of it so i'll probably um finish watching that tonight with some more chocolate melted chocolate and strawberries i'm gonna talking of melted chocolate and fruit i'm gonna finish eating this and i'm gonna get my hair dried i'm not gonna film me drying my hair though because a i've done it loads of times and b i am literally running out of like i've got nine minutes on all four of my sd cards left to film and i can't delete anything else because i need all that footage still so can't film me doing it but of course gonna use my primark not primark poundland colorwell dupe because we all know i'm obsessed with them and i'm just gonna get my hair dried i'm just gonna give it a bit of a bouncy blow dry dry my hair um and then yeah i will probably see you i was gonna say bright and early in the morning but i'm not gonna lie i'm probably not gonna be talking to you at half three in the morning when i've literally just woken up and um it's gonna be pitch black outside i'm literally planning on waking up making myself an iced coffee to take in the car with me and then get in the car and go i'm leaving super early because it's bank holiday and also it's like the school holidays and everything obviously so like driving to cornwall at this time of year is a bit of a nightmare and i don't really like driving massively this is the first time i've ever done 
um, the journey like on my own. I've only ever done it once before and that was with mum. So I just want to go early to try and avoid the traffic. I've got to drive on the M25, which gives me the ultimate fear because the people on the M25 are just absolute lunatics and they drive like they don't want to see tomorrow. And I personally do want to see tomorrow. So I'm just thinking if I go early, um, I'm less likely to see people and it will also take me like half the time. Whereas if I leave at like 9am, the roads are going to be heaving with people going on like day trips and like various things like that. So that's why I'm leaving super early and then I'll stop off halfway and get myself a big fat Starbucks. I'm already looking forward to having a big fat either iced caramel macchiato or a pistachio and white chocolate, either or. I'll see what I fancy in the morning. But yes, I'm gonna just dry my hair, watch the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders, have a very chilled evening, have a very early night and a very early morning tomorrow. And I will either see you on my journey down to Cornwall or once I'm in Cornwall, we shall see. Good evening. I really fancied a Chinese takeaway this evening. I'm not gonna lie. The thought of having some chow mein literally just with like music in my ears. But I feel like Chinese is like the one takeaway that's really difficult to get on your own because I want like six different dishes. I don't just want to order a rice or a noodles and then like a beef and black bean sauce and that be it. I want like the selection. And then if I'm having that on my own, it's going to cost me like 40 pound and I'm going to have six different meals or thingies that's going to last me like a whole week, which I don't really need. So I thought I'd do a homemade takeaway fake away type thing so that's what i'm having for dinner tonight so i've just got some chicken chow mein this is the thing um that i was most excited about this is a thing that i really really fancied from the chinese it's definitely more than a one person portion but oh well the problem is the noodles were already like portioned up so i couldn't actually like do any smaller really and then i've also made some salt and pepper chicken i just used this um salt and pepper seasoning from aldi i've never tried it before but i thought i would um give it a go i didn't do the um chicken breaded or anything which i do kind of regret because to be honest i was feeling lazy i couldn't really be bothered to make a chinese takeaway but i wanted chinese so um i just cooked the chicken with the seasoning um pepper and onion but i do kind of wish i made it like crispy now because it just doesn't look quite as good to be honest and then i've also just made um some egg fried rice there's a little oh that's really overexposed isn't it there you go um yeah i'm just kind of feeling lazy to be honest if i really had the effort i would have like made the chicken crispy and i probably would have done like um crispy chili beef because i've done that before and it was actually really good but i just this doesn't actually look that good to be honest it looks like a really basic naff um shit chinese to be honest but it does the job i've also got some corn crackers in the cupboard but i feel like that's enough i'm not even gonna do a close-up because that looks awful. Why when I do these um like fake away dinners, like when I did the um Indian loaded naan thing last week, copying Chloe's munchbox, why do they always look rubbish? This is why I need a Chinese munchbox thing in my life because if I had them in my area, I could just get that, which would give me a selection of dishes, but be one person portion. I don't understand why like I can't get a one person portion Chinese. Why is that not more of a readily available thing? Anyway, that's my dinner. Not the most exciting. Let's give the chicken a try actually. Um, see what that seasoning's like. Okay, the seasoning's quite good to be fair. Um, I think if that was crispy and maybe a little bit more chilli on it, so it's got a bit more of a kick. But other than that, not too bad. Okay, to be fair, it's not as good as a takeaway, obviously, because I feel like that's basically impossible. But the chow mein is not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Let's go. Morning. It is half past six. I'm feeling very sprightly. I've not even had my coffee yet. I've literally just stopped off. I've got sunglasses on because I've got no makeup on, okay? And I rolled out of bed at half six this morning. No, at half three. So it's not a pretty sight. I have myself a large iced caramel macchiato, which I have been looking forward to for the past two and a half hours. This was also free, which is just a win. Like I was thinking I need a large coffee. And then I thought, do I have any free coffees on my app? And I did, which is perfect because when you're getting it large and it's free, it's even better. I'm just trying to find my stirrer. I also got a cheese twist and some caramel waffles to eat for my breakfast. Um, but so far so good we're over halfway i never wear these sunglasses as actual sunglasses i normally wear them on the end of my nose so i feel like i probably look really weird um i'm still trying to find my stirrer oh here the journey has gone so well so far the m25 was literally so empty for most of the journey i've literally basically been on the road on my own which is perfect like i said yesterday i don't like driving i actually don't mind driving i do quite enjoy driving what i don't like is other people's driving i hate right honestly why are we hogging the middle lane at five o'clock in the morning when there's nobody else on the road you know you can go fast in the in the inside lane you know 
it's not a slow lane it's just a lane for if you're not overtaking people don't seem to know that that really honestly gets on my nerves but yeah for the most part there's been literally like no one on the road so it has been ideal i pretty much had the m25 and the m3 to myself um which is perfect it's just so much nicer driving like that it's so worth getting up early and for some reason i woke up this morning with so much energy i also woke up at half three hungry I've said this before i'll say it again i can wake up at whatever time of the day it doesn't matter i'll wake up and then within 20 minutes of being awake i'll be starving hungry it, honestly it's so bizarre like i know some people hate breakfast can't stomach anything before midday not me 10 minutes after i wake up i could eat a horse mm. oh my god that's good i got it blonde roast as well oh my god i'm so happy with that so yeah i'm gonna get back on with my journey i'm gonna eat my breakfast i'm over halfway which is good it says i'm gonna be in cornwall at 9 a.m 9 a.m i might even make it home in time for the dog walk along the beach like it's actually baffling like i kind of had today as a write-off because obviously i'm just gonna be so tired but actually i've literally got the whole day ahead of me once i get there which is mad anyway i'm gonna get back on the road and make the most of it being quiet all the maniac awful drivers seem to still be asleep because it's bank holiday so i'm gonna use that to my advantage get back on the road and i will see you in cornwall i've just been having a little bit of a um one person concert over here in my car living my best life on the start of the journey i was listening to the girls bathroom i listened to um, one episode of that and i also listened to um help i sex uh no i also listened to help i stumbled into the girls bathroom uh which i kind of love that crossover i've not actually listened to help i sex with my boss but i often see clips of it on my tiktok so i quite enjoyed listening to that but now i've got a bit of energy i've had my coffee this is honestly going down a treat i am loving this so much it's actually a really good starbucks as well like you know sometimes you have a starbucks and it's like not very good it's not been made very well this one is delicious um it's actually i'm what it's um yeah it's going down a treat yeah journey is going very very well like, honestly like if you'd have told me i was doing this like six months ago i wouldn't have believed you like some of the things i've done in the past few months are things that i would never have done because they used to make me feel so anxious and here i am just doing them and i'm so i love that for me like honestly like this is the first time i've actually fully ever driven down to cornwall on my own i've done it once before like only last month was the first time i drove down to cornwall and i did it with mum so like i had mum in the car and we split the journey this is the first time i'm doing it on my own and if you'd have told me like six months ago i'd have done this i'd have said absolutely not because like i said the m25 gives me the fear because uh, of the type of people you get driving on there and their driving style but yeah i used to just get anxious like before like a two hour journey on the motor or something that used to make me feel really anxious and it just hasn't like last night i was absolutely fine this morning like i've not felt anxious about this at all um i don't know what's like changed in my brain but i love it for me whatever it is like honestly i've done yeah like i said i've done some things that like i honestly used to make me feel so anxious doing them and now i just do them like being at home without mum dad and the dogs for like three and a half weeks that used to make me feel anxious i've absolutely thrived i've loved it i could have done longer but i wanted to go down to cornwall so i could spend a bit of time by the beach um for the last of the summer otherwise i'd have quite happily stayed at home on my own for even longer so love that for me um there's a gorgeous sunrise as well it's behind me so i can't really see it but i have been looking in my mirror um it's kind of weird like i've literally been here when it's been dark when it's been getting light i hate to say it though girlies it wasn't really getting light until about quarter to six so these light these dark nights and dark mornings really are rolling in and i feel like they're rolling in fast like they've really kind of crept up on us out of nowhere anyway this lighting is horrendous i look disgusting um i don't know why i'm on camera when i look like this with these sunglasses on i look like an absolute idiot but i just thought i'd have a chat with you i've only got two minutes left on my sd card so i need to shut up now um i'm gonna carry on my journey and i'll see you when i get to cornwall i've done it it is quarter past nine and i've done a five and a half hour journey to cornwall that is insane timing like i literally have the whole day ahead of me and mum's turned the doorbell off so the dogs don't know i'm here so i'm gonna go in um now and surprise them and i'm so excited Christmas, Dougie got them for you, the steak and chip ones. 
Well, I've got you fish fingers and chips. They're like, oh, fucking We don't care. We don't care, we just want to eat them. Oh, sorry, I don't know you're recording. It's all right, you can't see. <laughs> you're always dribbling. Lovely. I can't get into them. Here we go. They're a bit boring shapes, aren't they? Are you going to sit down? Not when you show it to him. Sit down then. Sit. Sit. Four, please. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh, is that nice? What do you think of that? Oh my god, you're dribbling everywhere. You're oh, wonky. You, Bridgie, you're blocking your brother. That's better. Am I the best? We have to save some for another for later. How many are you allowed? Oh my gosh, you're allowed eight. <laughs> Look who's back! <laughs> you miss me? Yes. You miss me because I bought you the best treat. Like what I have, I've not had one of these in about four and a half weeks, but now I'm back. I'm back on my um, white chocolate whipped ice latte game. And like, I kind of had gone off them because I had them so many times, but now I've had a bit of a break. I'm back on my um, whipped latte game and I'm here for it. My first night back and look who's come to join me for a sleepover. This makes me so happy. I literally love spending time with Blue. We don't get to spend much time, just us two, because Reggie loves, he just gets FOMO and he just loves getting himself involved. So when we do have time, just us two, it literally makes me so happy because I love this dog, honestly, so much. He kind of picks and chooses when he wants cuddles and attention. Like, he doesn't want cuddles all the time. Um, but when he does come to me for a cuddle and stuff, it honestly just makes me so happy. And he's come and joined me for a sleepover this evening, which has literally made my day. Good morning everybody. Happy Tuesday. I am up, I am dressed. I've been out this morning on a dog walk with mum and then as you can probably tell, um, I'm about to head off to yoga. So I've got my yoga mat and I've got on this little white fox set um, because we all know I'm just obsessed with these. And then I don't know which jumper to bring because it's a little bit breezy. So I feel like I should bring a jumper. I've either got, these are actually both from Primark. Um, I've got this brown one, which I've not actually worn before. Um, that says Saturday Running Club, which although it's Tuesday and <laughs> I'm not running, I'm kind of feeling this one. Or I've got um, this little cream one, which does have brown on it from little croissants on. So I'm going to wear um, one of those too. I need to get some water um, and I might make myself a coffee. And I've also got a little claw grip for my hair. So that is little outfit of the day for today because like I said I'm about to go and do um some yoga on the beach with mum which I'm very excited about I feel like when I'm back at home like I already am missing my reformer pilates machine but I feel like when I'm back at home I'm very much pilates and then when I come down to Cornwall I kind of switch over to yoga because there's loads of like beach yoga um and just kind of like more yoga things here I feel like so we've swapped over back to yoga for a few weeks over from pilates so I'm gonna go and do that this morning and then other than that I think I'm just gonna do um, some editing bits. Yesterday I didn't really do much but weirdly I wasn't very tired and it was really quite surprising. Um, obviously I woke up at half past three. I went to bed at my normal time of like half ten. I didn't have a nap throughout the whole day. Didn't feel tired. I thought like come the afternoon it would hit me and I'd need a nap or I'd need to sleep and I literally didn't. Like I felt more tired on Saturday when I didn't really do much other than packing. No I didn't know I didn't even do anything on Saturday. That was in last week's weekly vlog and you'll see i barely did anything on saturday i felt knackered yesterday obviously did a five and a half hour drive so that's a lot of concentrating and just tiredness anyway and i don't know why i'm standing like that um and i obviously was up early and i wasn't tired it was really weird but also not complaining um so yeah that's all i really got to update you on the dogs absolutely loved those treats like i gave some to billy and reggie as you saw and then i turned the camera off because i didn't have much room on my sd card um so then reg ran off and then as soon as reggie left billy like poured the pack like he put his paw on the pack um to basically say can i have another biscuit and he waited until reggie had done it uh, which i thought was really funny and really cute and i wish i got it on camera um but unfortunately i didn't so yeah they seem to be loving them and i think that is literally all i've got to update you on so that is today's plan i'll take you along to um beach yoga with me and then the rest of the week i don't really know we'll just wait and see and play it by ear but that's us all caught up that's everything i've got to say um so that's this little intro clip done I'm 
the cool option. Good afternoon. We are back from yoga and we're just making some lunch. We're going to have um, sourdough. This is cheese and onion. Cheese and onion sourdough that mum made. Um, and then we're going to have asparagus. I'm going to have uh, my vegan and do you thing on it. So I'm going to toast this, put some butter on, put this on, put some asparagus on and then have a poached egg. This is a lunch that we've been having quite a lot recently. I say quite a lot. I haven't been here for five weeks. But when I have been here, this is a lunch that mum and I love having together. So... In China. Whoa! Shush, say happy Thursday! Good morning, happy Thursday. Guess where we are? 3, 2, 1, King Sand and Corsan. I've been in Cornwall for three days. It's almost too long to have not come here because um, it's like my literal favourite place. We've just been on a walk and we're now going to go and get a coffee. Um, I feel like I sound like a broken record at this point because we literally do the same thing every single time we come here, but I bloody love it. Lovely. Coffee has been acquired. I got an iced latte today, which I'm very happy about because they don't do iced lattes all the time. Like they don't always have ice in, but because it's summer at the moment, they do, which makes me a very happy girly. And they also had pistachio cannoli, so of course I got that. And then I got mum a salted caramel one because like salted caramel is mum's thing. Like mine's pistachio. What are you looking at me like that? Oh, um, and mine is pistachio, so it's literally perfect. Now we're going to take our coffees, go and sit on the beach and drink them, which is my favourite thing to do. And I'm having a lovely Thursday morning. We've made the beach. I've got my cannoli, I'm gonna eat it in a second. I honestly don't think there's a better place to have your morning coffee than on the beach. So I'm thoroughly enjoying this. It is getting super, super hot. Mum's just getting a change of the customer costume. I'm gonna drink this and then um, I'm going in for a swim as well. Honestly, like getting up early, going for a swim, getting a coffee, being at the beach. It's honestly my idea of a nice day out in the wise words of Gary Barlow. <laughs> I'm gonna get changed now, darling, and then I'll come in with you, okay? Oh, darling. Ah, Billy. Swimming costume is on. Coffee hasn't been finished, but I'm gonna bring it with me because I think having a coffee in the sea is actually even better than having um, a coffee on the beach. What do you think? <laughs> I just need to put the camera down because this has already been dropped in the sea once before and it didn't go well. I'm gonna go for a swim. Return from Heathrow to Vancouver. Depart on economy. Do, yeah, I, just do I just economy. choose economy for now? Yeah, just, just choose economy. Three adults find flights. Yep. Gets into Vancouver at 355. 1555, yeah. Yeah, economy. Yeah, yeah. Economy basic. No. That's hand baggage only. No, go the next one up, which is Economy standard. standard. Yeah. 425 pound. Yeah, I think that was right. Select. Yeah. Coming home. 1745 from Vancouver. Uh, July business. Yep. Yeah. Review your flights. <sighs> okay. Give me a total at the bottom. Do you want to just come and check? the thing can i click the big blue button no let me just double 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 <laughs> check i could hold the flights for 10 pounds no why? and it's refundable if confirmed within 72 hours why yeah but why because i'm scared why but you're gonna go through it again we've already gone through it about 12 times and then if you hold the flight you're just gonna go through it another 12 times it's not gonna make any difference i'm scared i know but we're gonna have to book at some point otherwise we've got an rv and everything booked and we can't get there and an Airbnb and everything. <laughs> this so is why you money. do big important purchases on a laptop and not an iPad. No, it doesn't make any difference. It does, it's a huge difference. 10th of June. iPad is for Zara purchasing. Tuesday. Laptop is for flight purchasing. We have gone through this Heathrow. about 12 Land times. Anyone think you've never booked a holiday before? This is the third time you're going to Canada. Think about when you booked Vietnam, that was even more money. Tuesday the 10th, 
<laughs> God. Uh, it's scary, George. Did you do this with every holiday you've booked? Because the amount of holidays we've been on, you must have spent about well, months no. in time going through the same oh, holiday no. details. Yay! Okay. You're on your way to Vancouver! Woohoo! Look who's come to join me again. I don't know what all this dust particles is flying around. Why does it look like it's snowing in here? So bizarre. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've just come here to say for the third night in the row, Billy's come to join me for a sleepover, which literally makes my heart so happy. Good morning, happy Friday. I look slightly naked, but got this little like um, bubble dress on and we're just about to head out for a beach day because it's meant to be super hot and sunny today and it's right at the end of August. So I feel like we are coming right to the end of summer. So I want to make the most of these last few like summery days we have. So we're going for a beach day, which I'm very excited about. Oh. <laughs> And we're going to stop off in Wadebridge on the way to the beach um, to go and get some coffees and some bakeries. No, some pastries slash bakery bits for my favourite bakery, which I'm very excited about. So that is the plan. Um, this is hurting my arm because I'm going to be able to set my tripod up this morning to film this intro. So my arm's hurting. So I'm going to get in the car and go to the beach and I'll see you there. On the ferry, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about 20 miles. I've got my coffee. I went with a um, loaded um, <laughs> um, Kinder Bueno one. It actually tastes insane. Like it actually tastes like a Kinder Bueno and coffee. It's delicious. And now we're just waiting for mum. We're gonna go in the dad's ones to try it. You don't really like Kinder Bueno. I mean, you do like Kinder Bueno, but you don't like iced coffee. See what I mean? It tastes like a Kinder Bueno. It's delicious. Um, and we're just waiting for mum and then we're gonna go in the other um, bakery to get some. Oh, I did get a, um, oh, I also got another Kinder Bueno. Yeah. I've got a Kinder Rice Krispie thing, but I'm gonna get some actual like, bakery bits in here. This is a little um, Rice Krispie uh, thingy, like, like that. Kinder. Oh, I think it's white Kinder Bueno as well. Like a crispy square sliced mm. thing. I just saw it and I couldn't resist it, so I had to get that as well. Uh, George, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Okay, I've got my other bits now. I went with a cookie because I had one from this place last time. They're like a gooey chocolate chip cookie and it was so good. So I decided I needed to get that again. So that would probably be maybe for like a later or tomorrow thing. Dad got a sausage roll, which I think is, oh no, this is Dad's sausage roll. And then I got um, a buttermilk glazed donut. The lighting's not very good because I'm sat in the shade. Um, this looked delicious and I've never had this from here. <gasps> that looks unreal. Oh, hello, Blue. That's my donut, darling. made it to the beach it is honestly gorgeous and even though it's a school holiday it's Friday, this beach just seems to not be very well known about which i'm not mad about i feel like on camera though this does not look as gorgeous as it does in person like it is so bright blue and, and so like what so bright blue and sunshine no so bright blue and clear maybe is the adjectives i was going to use to describe the sea i don't know anyway i'm gonna get the picnic blanket set up um and then i'll get my bikini on get changed i've got um a little white fox bikini today actually it, it's super bright and colorful but i love it so much um i'll show you when it's on because you can't really see it. it's such a nice color um but yeah we've made it i think it's about 11 o'clock had my coffee got my bakery bits to enjoy at the beach honestly my ideal kind of day really hey blue you had a nice swim darling My cool box, which I got from Zara Home, but it's um, one of the polar. Billy, really? <laughs> it's one of the polar box ones. Again, I love the colour. Like I don't really do colour much, but pink and orange, I love. So that's gonna weigh that down on that side. Um, okay, now to get the bikini. I need to bring my.
feet doing on my picnic blanket. <laughs> You're so cute. What do these big compass stompers do? Look how big his paws are. Whenever we see people in public, they're always like, oh my god, your dog's got huge paws. And we're like, I know, we have that told to us about 50 times a day. Don't we? I'm now trying to take a picture of my Instagram, like for my Instagram, with my like contents, my beach bag, and now a giant filly here. I've had salt water thrown all over it by the dogs coming over and shaking on it. Honestly, this is the reality of a beach day with two garden retrievers, but to be fair, shaking the water on here is kind of giving it like a beachy effect and this perfume um, is replica beach walk and it says sun kissed salty skin so it's kind of um adding to the vibe i suppose so many he's got to use those big grinch feet for something reg he doesn't need help Reg, I don't think he needs help, darling. Billy doesn't like Reggie helping him dig a hole. He likes to do it all by himself. He gets really annoyed when Reggie joins him. Yeah, the remote. Reg, Reg, he doesn't want your help. See how annoyed Billy gets. He's carrying on doing that. I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch. Um, I love a picnic lunch on the beach. We've got the bits that we got from. Um, the Butcher's Bakehouse earlier. I bought the dogs their fish finger things because they absolutely love them. And then Mum's got her little sandwich there and then I made a BLT wrap because I didn't really fancy the sandwich bread that we had. I didn't really like it. So I've done this. Put a little arrow on so I make sure I open it up the right way. So, oh, and I've also got somewhere in here one of the new Aldi cheese strings, which I'm a big fan of because they're a bargain, but I don't know where they are, somewhere in there. I don't know if it's showing off on camera, but he's sat himself in the hole. So now he looks really funny, like his proportions. Billy, anyway, he's off. I was gonna give him one of these, because I thought a dog's life, that is amazing, going for a swim, digging a hole, and then having some little fish fingers and chips at the beach. Seriously. Reg, Reg, Reg. Oh my God. That's better. <gasps> Where's your ball? Have you put your ball in there? Oh, don't do this again. Oh no, his ball's not in there. It's fine. <laughs> you having fun, Reg? Reg! Whoa, whoa, watch it! We've already moved the picnic blanket like once to get away from their hole. And he's just decided to just build it further and further closer to me. I've got bacon, lettuce, parmesan, chicken and tomatoes second hole is now being dug in the other side of my picnic blanket this bottle has taken a hit quite a few times from the sheer flicking of billy um digging his sand i'm basically surrounded by holes this is on my phone because i put my camera away because i was scared it was going to get covered in sand and this is why there's that hole there and then the other side is the other hole so i'm literally surrounded ow you're flicking it on my face some good digging Red is now digging the hole, he's put his ball in it, there, but he did this one time, was on this beach actually, I can't remember, we were at a beach and he put his ball in it, he's flicked it out and he has a pretty nice, where's it nice... gone? Where have you put it? Uh oh, it's got stuck in the hole, he's lost it now, but he put it in here one time and then was burying it and we actually lost it and we spent like 30 minutes digging through the sand that he dug out because we didn't know if it was in there we didn't know if it was in there and dad and i literally were using a cup to scoop out the sand um to try and find this ball we eventually found it but it literally took us like half an hour to find it this is the state of my picnic blanket now though because that hole has been dug there and then i moved the picnic blanket away from this hole but they've just basically followed me and it's absolutely covered i'm reading my book the one about um the lady and the beach and the um, like the lady that does beach yoga um and has garden retrievers so I don't think there's actually a more appropriate book for me to be reading at this current moment in time. Okay, that's fair game. I'll give you three seconds to spot the billy. Three, two, one. This camera's got a really slow zoom, so it's going to zoom in super slowly. There he is. This dog honestly thinks he's a mountain goat and he loves eating seaweed. So he is, in fact, perched on that rock, pulling seaweed off it and then chewing it. And that is what he's doing. And then, of course, Reg has to copy him and do the exact same. 
This dog, Billy, is, he's eight years old. I've had eight years of this chaos in my life. You'd think by now he'd have calmed down. He has slightly. If you'd have seen him when he was like two years old, honestly, you wouldn't have believed it. I've never met a dog as bonkers as him. What is eight times seven in dog years? I don't know, but he's eight years old, but he literally acts like an eight month old puppy. I wish I could zoom in closer so you could see him further, but I can't be asked to get up to be honest. What are you doing? Are you comfy in there? Comfort little post beach ice cream. We always stop off here mm. after we go to the beach. I've got cookie dough today, which is actually yeah, huge. Like this portion is giant, um, and I went with a flake. Um, no, a fudge stick as well. Good evening. It is now about half past six. I've got my pajama bottoms on that I've had since I was nine or ten. They're from New Look. I say nine or ten because they're aged nine to ten in them, and they've got roller skates on. And I don't know why I own them because I've never been into roller skates, so. I don't know why I ever had those as pajama bottoms and I don't know why I still have them in my wardrobe but they're comfy and they fit so anyway I've had a shower um for dinner this evening we're having homemade pizzas on the barbecue like on the pizza oven thing that we have for that which I'm very excited about like I never used to like homemade pizzas I used to dread this when we had it for dinner but recently I've really perfected how I like them I don't like melted cheddar cheese on my pizzas I don't know what it is I just don't like it so I do um, like a ball of fresh mozzarella and then I also do grated mozzarella tomato sauce base basil I might put a little bit of indoo on today as well and it's delicious and mum makes these like sourdough um, pizza bases which is so good and now it makes me absolutely love homemade pizza and I look really forward to it look I really look forward to it and I also think it helps having it on the pizza stone thing in the barbecue like having that little attachment thing there was a fly and it's really getting on my nerves um having that little attachment thing I also think really adds to the flavor and yes that is my coffee cup from this morning because I put it there when we got in from the car and I've forgotten about it so I need to put down the bin but that was actually sensational this um white chocolate um or like biscoff iced latte I actually need to know what they put in this I don't know if it was the sauce or the syrup I think it could have been the syrup because I had some of the sauce and the white chocolate and it was good but it wasn't like oh my god this is a Kinder Bueno but something in this literally tasted like a Kinder Bueno it was insane so yeah that's what we're gonna have for dinner um we're home I've showered don't I think I've said this it's half six yeah so I'm gonna have some pizza take off my makeup I've literally got sand stuck to my face it's got stuck in my makeup because the dogs were digging so many holes and it all got flicked up onto me and then this evening other than having pizza I don't really know what I'm going to do. I finished watching the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders thing yesterday, which I absolutely love. Like, I really, really enjoyed that. I mean, it's absolutely brutal, um, but oh my God, it was really good. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, like, I rewound um, some of the dances that they performed. I like, rewatched them, like, three times because I loved it so much. So this evening, I don't know what I'm going to watch because I've also watched The Lovers Blind Reunion. I don't know why I always stand like this when I film here. I actually don't know. Um, what was I saying? Yes, The Lovers Blind Reunion. I watched that. That was okay. Um, but yeah, I think there's a new series called The Worst X Ever or something like that. So I think I might start watching that um, this evening. And other than that, like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I might make a bit of a plan or like put like write a few ideas down and then I can see what I fancy doing in the morning. Other than that, that's my plan. That's all I've really got to update you on. I don't really, really feel like I've spoken too much, but I have. Like I filmed a few different clips, but I feel like my vlog style here in Cornwall is very different to how it is back at home. Like when I'm back at home, I'm pretty much living on my own. I'm on my own schedule. I'm in like my bedroom and obviously I have my bedroom here but I don't really know like I just feel like there's a lot more spaces in my house back at home that I like to film in and yeah whereas here it's just a bit different so I feel like I have two very different vlogging styles here um, at home and in Cornwall and I'm just gonna roll with it you know so I just thought I'd have a bit of a catch up and a chat with you now um, even though I have spoken throughout the day and you've not missed out on anything but I feel like when I'm back at home I do talk to you more but maybe this isn't a bad thing me yabbering on too much I'm just you know to the point here which might be a good thing and I'm now rambling so I'm gonna shut up I will show you my pizzas um and yeah that's all I have to say oh for god's sake Mm -hmm. Wasn't she? Wow. Massive speed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I have. Oh, yes, it's now dark outside because it's like half past eight because I've been waiting for mum and dad to get back from the pub to have my pizza, which is why all these clips are dark, but my pizza is finally going in. I've done like a half and do one and then just half plain um, like margarita because I just love a plain margarita so much. So I thought half and half is the best of both worlds. 
morning everybody happy saturday i've woken up again to blue skies and sunshine which makes me so incredibly happy i literally love it so much so this morning i thought i'd go out i've had to put on um these like dad shorts because i think i've left my favorite denim shorts at home i think i must have thought that i packed them and then didn't and i don't know where i've put them because normally if I didn't pack them, they'd be sat out and I would have remembered. So I don't know where they are, but they don't seem to be here with me, annoyingly. So these are the only denim shorts I've got, and they're so incredibly long. I've just tucked them up for this clip because they're really bugging me. They're like proper dad shorts, and I don't really know how I feel about them, but I wanted to wear denim shorts and bikini top today. So we're going to have to make do with what we've got. I'm just going to tuck them back up just for filming this clip because they are really annoying me. But yeah, I thought I'd make the most of the blue sky stunning morning this morning and I'm going to get the ferry um, across to Royal Williams Yard which is in Plymouth because they've got like a little tidal pool there and there's also a cafe there that I really want to try because they do these delicious um, looking smoothie bowls. Oh actually, oh my phone's in here. I've also got a little um, black vest in here that I am going to put on in a second. Um, I'll just quickly show you the smoothie bowl things because we all know my love for a smoothie bowl. So this is um the you do like a mango one a peanut butter one which i'm not really feeling and an acai one so i don't know which one i'm gonna get i'm gonna get one of those two depending on um what i fancy afterwards so yeah, i'm gonna go for some in the tidal pool get myself a little smoothie bowl maybe get myself a coffee as well and just take myself up for the morning so that is the plan i'm just about to get in the car and drive to go and get the ferry and then yes i'll probably see you um i don't know when at the tidal pool or something i don't know get out on you or i'll go anywhere with you Yes, this is from the Scooby-Doo movie, which I didn't realise um, until I added it to my playlist and it says Scoop the album on it. But this was in um, the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders thing and I loved it. This was like, they put this Dawn of the Dancers and it worked really well and I'm, I'm here for it. So of course I had to add it to my playlist. Okay, this is it. I did film a clip up the top, but it was so windy. Um, I feel like we're a bit protected from the wind here, which is better. Um, so I'll insert a clip of it from above, but this is the tidal pool. There's loads of people swimming out at sea, but obviously, as you can see, there's nobody in the actual tidal pool now, which is lovely. So I can have it to myself whilst looking out at sea. There's Cornwall. That's where I came from. But I can swim in here without having to worry about waves or fish or anything. Um, but I'm still swimming in seawater, if that makes sense, because it's low tide at the moment, which is perfect. And then when it's high tide, it gets filled up. So it's like a little sea pool, which is perfect. So this is where I'm going to go swimming. It's gorgeous and sunny. There's a little bit of hazy cloud there, but it's blue sky up there and the sun is starting to come through. Um, um, which is perfect for lovely little early Sunday morning swim. Okay, it turns out the tidal pool is literally a paddling pool, like literally like this deep, not a swimming thing, which makes sense as to why no one was in it and why everyone was swimming um, in the sea instead. So I just sat there with my feet in it for a little bit. I could have gone for a swim in the sea, but I couldn't really be bothered to be honest. I wasn't really feeling it. The sea here isn't quite as nice, like it's quite um, rocky. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get a smoothie bowl now. And I am back in the car. I didn't really vlog my smoothie bowl, but I had the, oh, sorry, my phone. You're resting on my phone and it's not on silence. That's annoying. I sat at the cafe for a little bit eating it. And then I went and sat like overlooking the sea, which was really, really lovely. Like it was just such a nice view. And I was sat in the sun, which was gorgeous. And now I'm going to head home. It is half past 11. So it was a lovely little morning out. Little bit of a fail with the tidal pool, not quite being what I thought. I mean, when I like Googled it, it does say it's a shallow tidal pool, but I just didn't really click that, you know? I thought it was going to be deeper than it was, and it was just... It's great for kids. If you've got kids or something, um, that would be perfect, because it is literally so shallow. But um, I thought it was going to be like a tidal pool that you could swim in, and it's not. But that's okay. If I really want to go for a swim, I could go for a swim at the beach later, um, back at home. But it was kind of windy anyway, to be fair. So I was kind of like, oh, that's going to be really cold getting out. Like, it'll be all right once I'm in, but then when you get out and you've got, like, wet, cold skin, and then you've got the wind, I was like, mm, that's not going to be very nice. So I went for, like, a little paddle anyway so at least i got in the water you know um so yeah that was lovely i'm now gonna head home i'm gonna wash and dry my hair this afternoon and i think we're gonna go to new key tomorrow and i'm gonna try and get some instagram content there so i just need to like plan some outfits i've already kind of got outfits planned that i want to get content in so i just need to like 
get them packed in a bag ready for tomorrow basically so i think that's what i'm going to do this afternoon it's meant to cloud over um this afternoon so if it does that's what i'll do if it's sunny i will stay in the garden um and sunbathe and read my book i kind of wish i brought my um kindle with me now because it would be really nice to just sit and read my book whilst i was eating my se bowl and having my coffee um but i didn't think about it so um but anyway i'm gonna head home now and i will see you later Good morning, happy Sunday. It is half 10. Dad and I have been out this morning in Newquay getting some Instagram content and stuff. And now we have come to somewhere called Rems, which is meant to be really good. I think someone recommended it to me, but it was on my list already. Um, the menu looks so good. This made me laugh. These are their muffins, which look insane, but I'm gonna get a brekkie burrito. And then there's also specials and dad is gonna get smash brekkie tacos. I also wanna come back for lunch at some point because those jerk chicken fries sound amazing. The menu looks so good and their Instagram, let me just quickly show you. This is their Instagram. Instagram and it looks insane like look at that for a breakfast muffin I think this might be is that the burrito oh no that's the mac daddy wrap it all looks insane so I'm excited food has arrived I went with the breakfast burrito like I said and then dad's tacos you don't know what was in them but it looks like bacon, bacon. egg salsa oh, avocado. oh sausage, and you have got sausage, sausage patty, I think. that looks nice and I'm guessing that's cheese maybe like a yep. crispy cheese that looks so good I don't know how I meant to pick that up. Yep. Wait, which way? No, I had the breakfast burrito. Mm. 